So, what are we up to today, people? Um, so, back to this. Uh, it's, it's forecast not to rain for three days. So, fingers crossed. And I'm going to try and get the lines on the boat. So, the bottom line, I've managed to uh, keep that fairly well defined. And the top one, obviously, <coughs> it's gone. But you can very vaguely see where it was in places. So, I'm going to use those. Uh, measurements to uh, transfer that across the whole boat. It's going to be painstaking, I think. Um, so the dilemma I have at the moment is masking it is going to be a big job in itself, but then I've got to rub it down to key it for the, for the paint and the stripe to fit. But as I rub it down, I'm, I'm going to damage the edges. So I pull tons of masking tape. So I'm trying to come up with an ingenious way, right away, not ingenious, of marking uh, where the line should go. And if I can do that easily, then I can use half as much masking tape because I can just run a line. So what I've decided to do is to make like a... Um, so that's from the tow rail down to the top of the first red line. I've drawn a hole with the right size for a pencil to fit in and then I'm going to screw this to, to here like this and then I can then run that along. I'll show you. I'll make this first and then um, I'll get back to you. Stand by. I hope you're still awake. Oh, maybe, maybe not, maybe you've gone off to sleep. What a lovely thing that would be. Well, it is taking a bit of practice to get it going. I mean, that bottom line is, uh, yeah, you wouldn't take that home to meet your mother, would you? But um, that top one, with a bit of practice, a light touch, but a definite touch, it all comes together. <laughs> so I'm pretty, that's gonna work. So what I am going to do is I'm going to just put another block of this, uh, this sorry, un under here and, and drill that through to, because I'm getting a bit of that at the moment. And nobody wants that, trust me, no one. So this has been great, by the way. This works such a good screw, so Something like that, and so 
I like that shape, that's nice. So I'm gonna uh, make a template of that and transfer it onto the other side. Stand by. I've made the mistake many times before buying cheap nylon tape. And for instance, if you get kind of stuck um, on your job, and you, you know you have to leave it for a few days, um, when you come back, it's bloody impossible to deal with because it can just gets stuck on, and then you spend hours getting the. Because what happens is the paper bit comes off if you're lucky, and it just leaves a baked on glue residue, and that takes absolutely ages to get off so um, I would suggest better masking tape this I think you can leave for a few days without too much trouble but I do know if masking tape gets wet and then dries out again that's when you start to get problems but the better stuff is better at that Okay, so that's that step. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so that's my template. So now I can I can cut that, then I can just turn that round like that, plump on the other side. That is a real word, plump. Shizzish. expensive so what I don't want to do is mess this up just checking I'm going to the right side which I am that's working nice I'm using the tape as a guide uh, yeah this would be more than good enough who would have thought when you were a kid learning all these little skills that they would be coming in so handy as an adult I'm just lucky that my dad taught me brain surgery when I was a child. Shh. Shh. The big boys are concentrating on cutting things. Come on. It's nice that when you get a material like this where you can you get the scissors into a position and just glide along. Oh. Practical work is such fun sometimes the only thing i'm thinking is i don't know exactly where this starts and stops i.e how it lines up exactly on the job when i say the job i mean the boat sound like a professional don't i i will film all this because it's going to be very amusing for you because that's anything could happen here well, this uh, fellow has uh, appeared at the boat with this uh, piece of plastic. We've been uh, viewing him from a distance. Uh, we're not quite sure what he's trying to achieve. Uh, he's been there nearly 25 minutes already. And he's taking that uh, bit of plastic on and off many, many times indeed. So he does look like he's making some kind of progress now. He's uh, taping things, untaping them, taping them up again and then re-taping them. Uh, but he does seem to be looking like he's making some progress. Yep, yep. Oh, he's ripped some tape off there. What's he doing now? Oh, he's putting tape back on. It's going back on. Oh, no, this time it's curved. No, oh, no, no. He's changed his mind. He's drawing now. He's uh, doing a bit of sketching. Uh, apparently, he likes to uh, colour boats in. Uh, it's going to take him some time, I think, with that size pencil uh, if he's going to colour that whole boat in. Uh, oh, is he quitting the colouring in? Oh, it looks like he is. Ta -da. Oh, he's taken the plastic off and he, he looks mildly triumphant. So let's see. Oh, there he goes. It's, it's the curve line's going on. This looks like a modicum of success. And the bottom line? It's on. Well, we're stunned here in the commentary box.
so I'm pretty pretty happy with all that actually. So um rather than stop start stop start and move this thing a thousand times what I did is I masked that as you can see that it's been sanded I masked that bit sanded it now I'm gonna degrease it and do the final masking all in one go that way I'm um, not buggering about too much uh, moving that contraption many times which gets tiresome and uh, more up down is more tiring and it, yeah it's taking it's taking up time unnecessarily so that's what I'm doing condensing it living and learning <laughs> so the blue tape I was using for the rubbing down and this is what I'm using for the final so this is uh, it, it it creates a really crisp line and obviously that's what we want we don't want any bleeding because red onto white wouldn't be good so we want to keep that edge nice and tidy hello i'm from the future and i'm telling you not to use that tape it's a very 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 bad idea tidy it's, again more expensive but i've got a uh, two rolls of that that should do me so first of all get a, just a clean rag and get rid of all the dust from the sanding that I've just done and then we degrease it so I've been using this stuff it's uh, fast drying degrease I got this from a car spray refinishing company yeah so it dries really really fast and it gets all the grease off and and wax and you do not want wax anywhere near paintwork so it has to be properly de-waxed otherwise you can get reactions so that's the solution i'm going for so i put the green line on there and i put the blue line to it and then um, between coats of the red i can just uh, take off the green line and put the new green line on and leave the blue there save a masking tape okay so this is what i do so that's finished that bit um, um this bit uh, is masked so uh, to try and get rid of this shiny edge, go right up into the edge. The idea of this just sort of helps the paint stick and helps get a crisp line. That's the theory. Yeah. So she's all masked up. Um, the the line on the back there. I'm leave, just leaving that in place because the masking tape looks all right. We'll see how that comes out. If it's not good, I can remedy that on the next coat. One more degrease, and then I will get the paint on the pot here. So that's the first coat of the Epifans paint that's gone on. It's gone on fairly well. Oh, lots of flies here. <laughs> It's, it's getting dive bombed by uh, beasties, but yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I can see through it a little bit, and there's a couple of runs, but not too bad. So, <laughs> my friends here watching me, and so I feel a bit self conscious, but hey, name of the game. So, um, just the one more side to go, surprising the boat, so he got two sides. Uh, this is in the sun, so that's going to be a slightly different technique required, but I'll just thin the paint out a little bit more and give it a bash. So interestingly, where I've rolled it really thin, I mean, look at that. I mean, that's absolutely superb. Better than Alexil, I would say. But, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if this demasks okay. Hmm. Let's see. Oh no. <gasps> That's very unfortunate indeed. Oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> 